How's it going everyone? Maximilian here bringing you some casual gameplay and commentary from Modern Warfare 2 and discussing something that has been on my mind a little bit since the Modern Warfare 3 reveal and that's the uh, absurd amount of kill streaks or as they call them point streaks now that are going to be available in Modern Warfare 3. Now it's it's kind of hard to think of which ones you're going to choose because they've been separated into three different um, types of strike packages as they're calling them now. And for those that aren't familiar, there's an assault tier, there's a support tier, and there's a specialist tier. And the assault one is pretty much governed around the idea that it's going to get you more kills. And the support one only supports your team, and it doesn't really act as much, you know, getting a bunch of kills like previous kill streaks. And specialist is something completely different that I'd like to save for a separate conversation. But pretty much uh, from the breakdown vids that you guys might have seen before, I kind of want to talk about what everyone's impressions are on Assault versus Support. Now, for a lot of people that might already know, Assault kill streaks uh, are going to be stacking like Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty 4 had. So when you use the kill streak, it'll then build kills towards your next kill streak. Uh, which makes it easier to get things like the Osprey Gunner, which is at 15 kills and sounds like it can take out a ton of people. Um, but my, my biggest concern is the support tier. Um, and with support kill streaks, even if you die, the kill streak keeps going. So I'm thinking that there's going to be UAVs all over the place uh, because there are only four kills, and then there's counter UAVs and the entire list of other things that are available for support. But my, my big concern is that it essentially means that any average player can bu can bust out a UAV, a counter UAV, and even a, a stealth bomber for that matter. I mean, a stealth bomber takes 12 kills, but you know, if you can, you can die 16 times and get 12 kills fairly easily. I mean, any average person can get that, so what's going to be interesting is that for the people that run support, there can be an average of like 6 to 7 stealth bombers like per game, uh, depending on how many kills they get. And in games like Ground War, where there's even more people, there can be even more. Like, EMPs will be going off left and right, because those only take 18 kills. You're pretty much, like, I'd say guaranteed to get those kills if you're not just complete garbage at the game. And it's pretty hard to be that bad at a Call of Duty. Um, I'm not too worried about the assault kill streaks because, to be honest, I think everyone's going to run assault at first. And then the majority of the people are going to run support because they'll realize that, you know, but building these really high and really long kill streaks like the Pavlo and the AC-130 and the Osprey Gunner, like I was saying, it, it takes a varied amount of skill. For those that have been playing the Call of Duties that we're associated with, and even Black Ops tried to tone this down quite a bit by making kill streaks not stack, getting a chopper gunner and getting dogs in Black Ops wasn't hard. Like, it wasn't a difficult thing. For, for an average player, you're able to pull out those, you know, four to five times a night if you're playing consistently. And for the not-so-average player, you get one every once in a while. Uh, so I'm thinking that a lot of people are going to eventually merge over to support, or the average players, which represents a greater 90% of the population of people playing Call of Duty. So it's, it's going to be kind of crazy thinking that there's going to be EMPs going off like crazy. There's going to be escort drops dropping all the time, people walking around in juggernaut armor like crazy. Or if you have dudes that stay low and you have four, five, and, you know, eight, which I'm thinking might be one of the best support kill streak uh, classes by running UAV, counter UAV, and a SAM turret. So that's three, five, and eight kills. And they, they don't stack, but you can just die in between them and then still acquire them. So my god, there's going to be there's going to be UAVs up all the time. There's going to be support counter counter UAVs up all the time. And there's going to be things to shoot down the assault air support, so it's a pretty interesting dynamic, and the more I think about it, the more I get a little worried for Modern Warfare 3 and how it's gonna how it's gonna play and feel with a lot of people happening at once. And it's primarily my big concern because I play Ground War uh, almost exclusively. Like I enjoy other game modes, but I absolutely love the extreme uh, intensity of Ground War and not being able to control and uh, the entire amount of mayhem and the havoc that happens with a game mode that has that many people in it. I absolutely love it, and I'm thinking that in, in game modes like that, it's going to be pretty insane. But I'm also curious how many people will actually run things like the Osprey Gunner and things like that to see how how deadly they actually are, and hopefully I'll be able to get some footage of the first Osprey Gunner in a live-action game, or at least I'll try my best. But just some food for thought. I'll make future videos talking about some of the dynamics of Modern Warfare 3, the specialist packages and the guns and things like that later in the future. But for now, thanks for watching the video. This has been Maximilian, signing out.